नमस्कार हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू माय नेम इज दीप पांडे एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू क्रिप्टो बी टेक्नोलॉजी इन आवर टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रेप्लिकेशन इन मॉन्गो आई एम श्योर सम ऑफ यू माइट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट रेप्लिकेशन और यू हैव आईडिया अबाउट द थ्योरेटिकल कांसेप्ट व्हाट इज दिस it is basically kind of uh, uh, you know uh, it's for the in case of disaster recovery setup actually right or in case of uh, you can call it as a high availability solution okay so now in our today's session we are going to see how we can set up a replication okay because theory you have already studied what is this and what is that so i'm not covering that point actually but if required or with i'll cover it in later uh, sessions as well but in our today session we will see a practical or a hands on setup actually like how we can set up the application okay so here i have uh, two servers with me that is the uh, let me minimize all these details so we have mongodb 01 and mongodb 02 and this is their respective ip address okay so the first thing is like we are supposed to install uh, mongo database on these two servers okay and uh, we will not start the mongo db we will not start a mongo db server actually we will just install the mongo database okay so uh, we are using the latest version of mongo db, uh, db that is the uh, mongo db 3.4 here this one that is 173.255.211.129 is the ip address and mongodb 01 is the host name right so yes we do have uh, installation setup as well and we will install it so let's go ahead and uh, log into the uh, mongodb server we are in uh, we are supposed to install this mongodb database Let me log into the Qt. Okay, and uh, this is the first server. Okay, you will get a Qt security alert. Root. Okay. Now let me change the setting so that you can have a better view actually. Like this, we have these two yellow colors. Okay. So first of all, the first objective is like we have to update the host name. Okay, for this we can use the command echo. Okay, host name is equal to your uh, MongoDB zero one icon zero one. Okay, we can put some space as well. Okay, and then uh, it should be written to slash http slash config slash Network. Okay. Why I am doing this? Because in general, sometimes uh, your client might have a server from some th third-party vendor, or he is using the server from cloud as well. So in that case, the host name might be different actually. So for your convenience as well, and for the better setup, we can use this. We have to change the host name to MongoDB zero one. So this is the host name, current host name actually. And now I am going to change it. How we can do this? Simply go ahead and type host name. Then this is MongoDB zero one. Now if I fire the command host name, you can see here that this MongoDB zero one has been appeared. Now let me install this uh, Mongo database. First of all, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. I need to get into this uh, MID. 
then uh, I have to create a directory enterprise dot uh, repo. Okay, I just use the VI editor and then uh, use this uh, MongoDB installer 3.4 like this. Roland WQ to come out of that and then I'm going to install this MongoDB enterprise like this. Let it get installed and then I will move it to the next server. So you can see here that the installation is going on and it's done now. Okay. Now once the installation is done, the next step was to start the MongoDB service, but I'm not supposed to start it right now. Okay, so the next step and the next step once the installation is done, I have to get into the etc file, which you can find it in cd slash etc. This is a directory and uh, I have to open the file that is called as mongod.conf file, which is actually a configuration file for a mongodb database, which can be found in uh, slash etc directory. Okay, so how you can do this? Simply go ahead with the vi editor mongodb.conf and this is your configuration file here okay so I have to make a few changes over here for this just press I button I get an insert so the first point I need to keep in mind is like we have to comment out the form okay so let's go ahead let me comment the form like this Fine. Now we have to set port for all the servers over here. So the port is this port is 27017. Okay, you can use it. Then we have to comment out the bind IP address. Let me comment it out. Just like this. Okay. And then uh, we have to update the replica set name of the replica set in fact, in fact of, uh, this application we can put and uh, you can put any name over here in terms of uh, replica set it's just actually the name of the cluster and you can put as a let's say uh, daemon okay and we have to choose the interface as rest that should be equal to true huh? now press escape button colon wq to save and quit from this particular file okay and then I have to make the concern directories the command for the same is mkdir and uh, we need to make a multiple directories it should be like srv folder then we have mongodb folder within that we have srs 0 slash 0 Okay, and uh, one more file, uh, one more directory I have to create, SRV, MongoDB, RS. So, RS uh, is actually stands for uh, replica set here. So, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, naming it like that, uh, kind of a directory here. Okay, the directories have been created. Now, we have to check if any MongoDB process is running or not. So, uh, if it is anything is running, we have to kill that accordingly. PS hyphen AS, those who are from uh, Linux background, you might understand it very well, those who do not, please uh, just keep on uh, noting it, so that uh, you can understand later on as well, and you can work on the Linux environment as well. We have Mongo, we have to check if any MongoDB process is running. Okay, so right now what uh, process is zero, still let me kill it if anything is running and uh, if something happens out of my side, you can say the skill all mongoli. Okay, it says no process to no process killed actually. There's nothing no process like that. Fine. Now I have one more server with me. This is uh, this one. 173 2552199. I want to log into that server as well and I will use this new session. Okay, uh, 
by login uh, password this is the system number two okay so my objective is to connect these two systems like if one server goes down the data should be available on another server okay it should be something like that or uh, this is what something called as a high availability setup actually so let's go ahead and make a few changes so that you can have a good view actually okay uh, i'm going to put this server in blue color like this okay so mongodb01 is in yellow color mongodb02 should be in blue color fine so again here also i have to ask, do the same set of thing echo host name as equal to config then we have network okay and then we have host name host name here is mongodb hyphen zero two we can check this host name if it is uh, correct or not. Okay, this is MongoDB 02. Now, let me install this MongoDB database once again on this uh, second server as well. For this again, I'm going to uh, etc yum report dot d. This is like this over here. And I'm going to create a VI repository for this using VI uh, setup, MongoD enterprise dot repo click on insert and you can enter the base URL okay colon wq and now I'm going to install this mongodb enterprise going on here also I'm not supposed to start uh, this one my service MongoDB service there yeah. now again let me get into slash etc directory here uh, I have to open uh, mongod.com file okay and the same thing we have to do here it's like uh, first of all we have to comment out the fork okay now we have to set port for the server here this time I want to use the next another one more port another port I'm using 26017 in our previous server I've used 27017 that is the default port and now I'm using the another port over here okay comment out the bind IP address I've done it now replica set again because it is a, a member of the same replica set family replica set is equal to your uh, it's basically the name of your replica set the same name whatever you have given to the previous uh, server you have to enter the same name over here similarly rest will remain true okay colon wq now again you are out of the system let me make the directories as well once again uh, mkdirc the same path we have to provide mongodb rs0 slash 0 ok and uh, frv slash mongodb slash rs that is replica set 0 1 Again, I have to check if MongoDB uh, process is running or not. It is something like PS hyphen EF like grip. Mongo. Okay, again, no Mongo process is running, but for the security purpose, I'm just uh, running this command once again. Kill all which is related to a name like MongoD. Okay, no process killed. That's good. So, now, 
as a next topic, next objective, like we have to, let me clear the screen first of all, we can have a better full look actually. Out, this server is uh, timed out, no problem, we will connect it later. So here, the next important thing is like, we have to update the post file, okay? Post file is a very important file actually guys, uh, and we need to be very careful while handling that post file that we have to enter the exact value, exact IP address, exact uh, host name, etc. on the concerned host file. And this host file should be same in all case of servers whosoever are participating in the cluster. Okay? So, let's just update this host file, slash vi, slash utc, slash host. So, this is my host file. Again, I'm going to enter my server details along with the IP address and host name. One more thing and very important thing that guys, whenever you are updating your host file, make sure that uh, the IP address should be written first and then we have to write the host name. It should look something like this. First of all, we have IP address and then we should have host name. IP address, host name. All the servers whosoever are participating in the cluster must have the same host file. Okay? Come out of that. Okay? Now, I have to initiate the replica set and I have to add the member. But before that, let me take out uh, another, my previous server as well. I have to log in once again. You can put at restart session. Root. Let me clear the screen and let me um, update the host file of this server as well. Remember that guys, you have, you should have common host file on all the machines. Okay, so I'm just logging in uh, because I have just one or two servers, so nothing to worry about. And for this explanatory purpose as well, I'm logging to these servers and putting it up. Now, I have to start this MongoD server, okay? So this is the first server. I'm going to start it by using sudo. Okay. We have MongoD. Right. The port that I should use is 27017. Okay. Then we should have a DB path. DB path. Something like SRV MongoDB RS. Zero of zero, okay, and the replica says that what we have done in mongodb.com file, and that is nothing but just daemon, okay, okay, I have uh, one second MP as a master, okay, fine, uh, good, white tiger option, that's fine, so let's run it once again. Okay, let me check. Oh, I have a replica set. I haven't used double hyphen. Let me use this one. Good. Now, it says that it is waiting for connection on port number 27017. Okay. So, now the same thing we have to fire in the next server. Let me start the second server as well. So, here this is like sudo number D. Right? Then port 26017 26017 the same port I have updated in configuration file right then we have db path db path it should be something srv um, mongodb okay and then this is rs0 of 1 and then the replica set will remain same that is demo okay Okay, good. It's waiting for connection on port number 26017. So my both servers are up and running fine. And now I have to access them during the Mongo setup. Okay? Now both of them are actually waiting for the connection and we have to connect like over them. So first of all, let me connect to the first server. Let me uh, use this. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the here. Okay. This is root. Fine. Okay, and then this is 
combo port. Okay, I'm using the port number 27017. Remember guys, the port should be very clearly written and it should be remembered properly. Okay, so now you can see here, it is right now it is waiting for the connection and once I click on enter, you can see here that this particular connection is subset from this particular machine. Okay, you can see here, now I'm connected to the machine. I'm going to initiate the cluster setup or I'm going to initiate the replica setup. RS dot initiate. RS dot initiate. Good. You can see here the primary complete is now permitted and the system is coming into the setup actually. It is now primary server over here. Right, if I can check it like RS dot status, you can see here that this MongoDB machine which is using the port number 27017 with the host name is MongoDB01 is now a primary server. Okay? Now this is a primary server, so we should have to add some more server, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this particular server that is mongodb02 to so this particular set and for the same what I'm going to do is the command for the same is rs dot add okay and I have to enter the IP address and the concerned port number as well so what is the IP address yes this is the IP address here okay this is the IP address and uh, what is the port number it is 26017 okay now if you enter, okay, it says this port added successfully. <coughs> Let me check the settings of this machine as well. You can see here its transition to secondary is being done. Now if I fire RS dot status, you can see that we have both primary as well as secondary machines. This MongoDB01, this particular port is primary one and this particular machine which is using the port number this is acting as a secondary server. So my both of the servers are now in uh, replication. They are into the same replica set. Right? Okay, if this is fine, let me show, uh, let me see if we have some kind of databases or uh, show DBS. Okay, okay. I have these two databases. Let me do one thing. Uh, use. I'm going to create a database like use demo. Okay, and uh, db dot create collection. Okay, and our collection name is employee. Or you can make it. db dot create collection my mistake oh yes yeah, sorry so I have to use this uh, double code fine and now if I fire command show dbs I should be able to see that there is a demo database here so when I have already set these two databases over the replication right so it is expected that the same demo database should be visible for my another server as well with whom I have created a connection, right, or application. So let me open a duplicate session and let me start the Mongo. Let me connect it to the Mongo. So this is the root, whatever is the password here. Okay, and I'm going to connect the Mongo service now. Mongo port, okay, 26017. Fine. Good. Now it is showing me as secondary, right? My yellow server was showing it as a primary and this particular server is showing as secondary. Obviously, that's obvious, very obvious part. Now if I fire command show dbs, let me see what happens. It says that it's an error message, not a master and slave. 
right? So we have to declare that this is a slave and it should be able to visit, um, you know, show me all these databases whatsoever are there in your primary server. So for this, I have to fire a small query rs dot slave. Okay. It should be done like this. Now if you fire show dbs, you will get all the details. You can see here that the demo database is there. And now what I'm going to do is um, let me use the demo database. Let me get into this. Show collection. The employee collection is there. Right. This is how the replication should be set up. And this is how actual replication works. Whatever database you create here, like let's say, let's say I'm going to create a database use study pay, okay, and uh, db dot create collection, um, let's say technology, okay, in primary database I have created a system, it's a study bay, it should be visible in the secondary database as well, so dbs, Oh great, that's my database, right? So this is how we are supposed to set up the application, right? I hope you have understood the concept and you like it. If you have any issue, any query, please feel free to type your queries in the comment box, okay? So have a nice time ahead guys and take a very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.